Hello and welcome to another budget and leggy video. Now I recently put up a carbon clean video and getting, you know, quite a lot of thumbs down for my videos and a few YouTube wankers, I mean um, YouTube warriors who just essentially, oh, I'm not down to earth because I'm using this machine. I don't see how that has got anything to do with being down to earth. I've been tricked into this machine and all this sort of stuff. Right. I mean, the results speak for itself. I have a video from Brian who's working on his own car and you can see the effect that this carbon machine has had. Brian was a skeptical at first, didn't really think it would work and from using it, he is now convinced. I will show his part of the video at the end of this so you can see exactly what he found and what he's done and all that. So for all the keyboard wankers, uh, keyboard warriors, it's so easy to get that can you know that confused. Other people were saying too that they're going to squirt water in the intake rather than use this because it's the same thing and it's just not the same thing. I would love you to film that squirting two liters of water down your intake because that video will go viral. It's not as if I was telling people to buy this machine and telling you they had to get this done. I was just showing the machine I've got and what it can do. I will be taking a lot more videos and pictures of before and after, but this just should definitely shut up a lot of them keyboard wankers. Oh, there I go again. Warriors. It's just warriors. Sorry. Just, yeah. So this is going to prove to people well you, you say that but you know people are always going to say other things but once i get you know in the next few months and get more kind of evidence of this yes it's not going to solve your problem if you've got a mechanical issue or something else but if you've got carbon build up this now you know should put to bed that it does work it definitely does something I never said it's going to clean everything 100% down to the metal because no, it's not. There's nothing 100%. The only way you're going to be able to clean an engine 100% is can strip it down every nut and bolt and clean it. That's very, very expensive. This way is actually cheap compared to what it would be to strip your engine down or to do absolutely anything else with it. There is no worry about breaking bolts, snapping anything, just nothing. This machine speaks for itself. So let Brian say the rest and there we go. My phone's about to fall, just keep it there. And this should kind of prove all them YouTube wankers, warriors, just got a problem. I just have a problem sometimes saying the wrong word. So this is to all you people out there. I'm not saying you need to come to me or anybody else to use this machine. I wasn't forcing this machine down anyone's neck. I'm just showing you what I've got. What I do, it's as simple as that. There's people that make a living just doing this. There is loads and loads of comments online of people saying they've had it done and they find it fantastic. There's, there's even people in the description that said they've had it done and they find it fantastic. So everyone, all these people are wrong. It's just because some people think this is a new technology and everyone's scared of new technology. Just like when planes were originally made, you know, and it's all voodoo, it's this and it's that. It's not. It's science. It works. It's proven. End of story. <clears throat> Don't care. There you go. Sweet. Look, I am not saying if you've got a carbon buildup issue and you get this done, this is going to solve your problem. I am not saying that because it's not going to be 100%. It's going to solve a hell of a lot of people's problems. If you've got a carbon buildup to the extent where it's really doing damage to your engine, then you're going to have other issues. Yes, I am not saying this is going to be some miracle cure that's going to cause every single carbon buildup engine. It's not. There is nothing out there that does anything like that in anything, no matter what. I'm just saying before you, you keyboard, I have to be careful now, keyboard whack, warriors just start typing thinking you're clever maybe do a bit more research before you actually think you know what you're talking about if i find this machine even eight out of ten to work i would call that a success even seven out of ten still fantastic results do your research you even get your car done and see yourself before you open this and type on here and, and do all this yeah, 
Anyway, Brian's next. For it. Well, hello, folks. So uh, I wasn't really going to document this because, you know, I'm not really the documenting type. It's not really my thing, but I thought this was worth mentioning. So um, at the moment, I'm working on a 520 BMW and uh, had um, had a bit of a mechanical issue. But before uh, the mechanical issue, I went for a hope and a prayer and I we were or we were thinking it was a carbon issue and we were thinking it was a build up of carbon you know like wishful thinking build up of carbon preventing a valve from closing oh that is exactly you know the thought of opening up an engine uh you know and all the work that it entails you know it's just Positive thinking would make you believe that carbon would prevent a valve from closing. But anyway, long story short, it was a valve that was given trouble. But I went down to Leon and I, with me with my thinking of this carbon buildup, I said to Leon um, to get the hydrogen machine out and to, to give it a go. Now, to be honest, I thought this thing was like magic. You know, like how planes fly and stuff, you know, it's that's, that's magic as well. There is no physics or, you know, there is no logic in planes flying, you know. And like this hydrogen machine cleaning out carbon to me initially was like, uh, it was like magic. But after stripping um, this uh, engine apart, taking off the cylinder head, um, I have... Taken out the valves and I have um, noticed a, a reduction in carbon buildup. Now, so for anyone who, who um, have taken a, an engine apart with modern EGR valves, the amount of gunk that can get into the, the intake port is quite ridiculous and especially if you have a, a leaking valve stem or, um, or any other mechanical issue uh, regarding the cylinder head uh, or excess oil, turbo, turbo oil go, going into the, the, the intake, the amount of build up, any amount of oil. But anyway, so, so when I got to this first the initial problem was uh, swirl flaps and the uh, I think I think um, I think it had uh, I think it had a, a leaky valve and um, a leaky or a bent valve and then uh, the amount of carbon buildup was quite ridiculous quite ridiculous it was it had almost closed the ports now this valve here is not absolutely fabulous it is certainly not fabulous but we we put um the carbon machine on for uh, i don't know about a half an hour uh or maybe 40 minutes and it had taken a good deal of carbon build up from these valves now there is still some that has carbon build up i i'll give you that but uh, for the half an hour or 45 minutes it had removed a lot and there is still there is still um, some carbon build up in the ports but on certain ports it's totally clean now I feel that considering how much it took away had we given it more time it would have cleaned out these ports completely but that uh, as leon says if you have a mechanical issue it's not going to fix it it's just not going to fix it but as for a, a modern engine with an egr valve it's going to work wonders it's going to take out the carbon out of your out of your engine and i i have seen it and you know i have the proof you know so because considering I seen what it was like beforehand. Yeah.
So, all you guys and girls, you know, that hydrogen uh, carbon removing machine is pretty good. It's not magic. There is science behind it. What the science is, I'm not entirely sure. So, this is uh, the culprit of all my trouble. Swirl flaps coming off and going into the engine, bending a valve. But I want you to take note of the build up of carbon and the general, uh, the ge just general contamination of the ports. 